Hi, welcome back to my channel. And I'm excited to bring you a new kind of haul today. So I met up with my friend Ernest, who is my source in Detroit for jewelry. He's the one that brought me all those rhinestones and everything from the haul, I think back in July, that took me forever. I think it was like 75 pounds and it was almost all super vintage rhinestone jewelry. Now I got a smaller haul, much, much smaller haul from him this time. Um, and in fact, it is only these two bags. Um, so we're gonna go through it today, see what we got. Um, I don't really know what it is. He says that there's a lot of broken stuff in here, but he thought maybe I could use it to either repair or take stones out of, repair other jewelry. So we'll see. He says there is some really good stuff in here too. Um, so I bought it pretty much sight unseen and, uh, we'll see what we got and, uh, it'll be fun. But first I'm going to make a, uh, special coffee so I can get through the haul because I got up kind of early today and, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So my special Irish cream, big old bottle from Costco. So kind of love that. And oh, don't mind my sink here. I'm standing in front of it. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited to go through this and you guys are gonna go through it with me. It'll be fun and uh, we'll see. So I'm gonna give you guys a break so you can see how to order from me with my little graphic. Feel free to take a screenshot. Um, otherwise, if you don't want to, description, you can always read in there how to order. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. And I'm going to start pulling some pieces out of, I guess, the first bag that we have. We've got a few bags from him, so we're gonna just pull some stuff out. It looks like we've got some decent pieces. Um, and yeah, got some rings, got some earrings. So far, I'm liking this this bag since he got him from a couple different estate sales and garage sales that he was at he just bought out he tends to buy out the jewelry at these places he looks for the gold silver things that he can basically take and then He'll just basically sell me the rest, or I think he now has a couple other people because sometimes I don't get back to him fast enough, but you know, that's okay. I have a few people that I buy from as well. So, and you know, I gotta make sure that I'm getting good deals as well. All right, looks like we've got a nice little pile here to go through. And uh, yeah, so let's see. Let's see what we have. Make sure I have my tools all set up. I got a ring, mandrel. I got my presidium. And I have my loop. Okay. Let's see what we have. Okay. First thing I'm looking at is this. This is a great cuff. Um, this seems like it's out of like a steel or like a, some kind of base metal, not a sterling or anything. And then it's got this really pretty copper um, design and brass. And that's probably a dyed halite. This is a really pretty cuff. Looks like this on. Very, very pretty. That looks kind of cool. Um, all right. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, that's really pretty. We'll say, I'm gonna say 20 on this cuff. This is really unique. I would bet you this is artisan made. And uh, I like how it's got like the brass all the way around. I think this is definitely a one of a kind piece. So I'm gonna say 20 on this. That's really, really nice. 
Um, okay, so we've got some earrings. We're gonna have to set aside till we find mates on those. Oh, got a lot of earrings. Oh, we've got a, oh, this is a pretty Christmas tree. It is missing a stone. Um, so I'm gonna set this aside as something I'm gonna try to repair. Um, so eventually this will be for sale, but for now this is going into my repairs. All right, and here's an earring pair. This is definitely vintage, probably like 19, I'd say 1970s. That's kind of cool. Not sure why, there we go. Now we've got it focused. That's pretty. So it's like a dark gold, burnished kind of gold. And then it's got the beads. It's kind of cool. I like that, different. Um, so these hoops, um, I'm gonna say uh, $8 on those hoops. Those are kind of neat. Those are very vintage. Nice, 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 nice. Um, oh, let's see, we have a leaf. This is very old as well. Um, oh, very old. It's got a old C clasp even, but uh, it is missing a stone or a few stones actually. Um, I'm gonna put this in my repair. If anybody is interested, in something as is, you just need to message me and let me know what the timestamp of the video is. Um, we've got a pair of earrings here. These are really kind of cool. These are clips and uh, stir, um, like a heavier kind of silver tone. Um, these are neat, I like these. Definitely, they need maybe a little bit of cleaning, but kind of cool. I like those. Um, I'm going to say, uh, those are really different. Um, I'm going to say $8 on these. Those are nice. Let's see. What else do we have? Something. Okay, so we have a pendant, gold tone pendant on a large chain or long chain. That's a really pretty pendant, it's kind of like an abstract flower, gold tone. Long, long chain. Looks like there's a little bit of an extender on it too. Oh, it is a, oh, it's a vintage, I think vintage Liz Claiborne. And it's got the LC on this side. This side says Liz Claiborne established 1975, I think. 1976. That's cool. I like this. Let's say, um, this is nice. Very like a retro throwback. And um, let me get a measurement on this necklace. Um, I didn't know Liz Claiborne was around since 76. I thought it was, I mean, I knew it was like the 80s sometime because I've had some really cool vintage Liz Claiborne clothing in my store before, but all from the 80s. This is 34 inches long, and this is at, well, probably could be like 35 inches long, maybe, but 34 inches at this length. Um, and I'm gonna say $12 on this. That's a cool piece. Um, Oh, that's something. Oh, we got an earring. Oh, here we got, this is another cool pair of earrings. Let's see here. Oh, they're marked Chico's. So these are Chico's. Those are really cute. Chico's clip earrings. Those are very cute. Two tone, silver tone, and then like a, kind of like a burnished gold as well. They are clips. They're marked Chico's right there. Super cute. Oh, wow. Those are super cute. Um, I'm going to say 12 on those. Those are really nice. I like those. Very, very cute earrings. Oh, ooh, these are nice. These are really nice. Um, OK, 
Okay, so these are vintage, very vintage. Really nice purple, amethyst purple cabochons. Those are not faceted, those are cabochons. And then you do have two faceted pieces on either side. I like that kind of like, um, almost like a shark tooth kind of prong set on those cabochons. These are not marked at all, but they are in really nice condition. These are really nice. Um, I'm going to say 15 on these earrings. These are beautiful. These are beautiful earrings. I like those. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful earrings there. <sighs> these are on a nice, dirty piece of, <laughs> I don't know, the original card, but boy, card's dirty. These are nice, though. These are glass. I don't know, Kim Rogers. I'm not familiar with that brand at all. It says Holiday Beads. Um, original price was $16. Um, I'm gonna say $5 on those. Those are, those are, they're really nice. I like the colors, that kind of gray and then the red. Um, so I'm gonna say five on those. Um, these are Erica Lyons. These are acrylic. And I always thought Erica Lyons had better quality. This is, I thought they're, they would be glass at least. I mean, they're decent quality, but they're just not glass. Um, I'm going to say three on those. And then these are Ruby Road. And these are, um, this is interesting. Well, red. Huh. Um, we're gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say five on these. Those are, they're cute, they're nice. These glass, I can't tell. No, I guess those are acrylic beads or plastic beads on the bottom. But still, they're really kind of cute. So I'm gonna say five on those. All right, so what do we have next? Oh, these are blingy. Oh, these are really cute. All right, so we got some super blingy green AB, um, big, huge, almost like a, I don't know if this would be considered like a door knocker hoop or, I love this like opaque style um, faceted, rhinestone I guess around the green on the top kind of like a flower is this marked at all this is not marked kind of reminds me of like what a J Crew would be or something like they are really nice these are really quite nice wow those are really nice huh beautiful these are really really nice earrings um oh, look at that sparkle um, I'm going to say on these earrings, let's say, uh, these are going to be 15. Those are really, really quite nice. So 15 on those earrings. Um, okay. So we have a necklace. These are all a silver tone metal bead. And then the focus on the bottom is going to be these three large, almost like tribal, or boho looking beads with the glass, the black glass. I'm assuming that's black glass. Uh, yeah, so it's a black glass and silver metal. Um, this is long. There is no, hmm, there's no uh, clasp on it. It's about 36 inches long. Really kind of a neat necklace. This would be cute, like um, layered or something, or uh, you can't really double it, I would say. I mean, maybe you could, but you're popping that over your head. So it's not like you got a clasp to work with, but still it's a neat necklace. Um, I'm gonna say 15 on this. This is kind of a fun necklace. I kind of like that one. So 15 on that one. Um, then we have, oh, that one I don't 
don't have a match yet. Um, these are kind of fun. So I've got a pair of cluster earrings here. Um, they are like a seed bead and sequin cluster. I like those. Let's see, do, are these marked? Oh no, can't get so lucky. These are definitely old though. So these are on a old screw back. Definitely got wear on the back, but you know, you're not gonna see the back, right? Um, nice and lightweight. These would be super comfortable to wear, even though some people don't like screw backs. You know, you don't have to make them super tight to your ear, um, especially when something's this light, just, you know, enough so it's gonna stay on. Um, as long as you're not playing with them, they're gonna stay on. Um, these will be, uh, we'll just do uh, $5 on those. Those are really nice, I like those. Um, okay, so we have another necklace. This is kind of pretty, looks like ribbons. There we go. That looks like ribbons. That's really, really neat. And unmarked. Um, let's get a measurement. So we are right now. But really quite, quite cute. I like that. All right. Well, a little flare on the camera. I'm still getting used to this new new camera here. All right. Oh, these are pretty. Um, these are silver tone earrings. Uh, clips. But look at this. So look at this like uh, texture to it these little discs. It's kind of a neat, kind of a neat little thing. So, all right, so these are marked on the back and whew, this one goes flying. These are Sarah Coventry, super pretty, super pretty. Sarah Coventry earrings, I like these a lot. Um, and we're going to say 10 on those. Those are great. Um, I do not know what this is. Could it have been a ring at one point? I don't know. That's going to go in craft. Do not know what that is. Um, it looks like we have a cufflink, a lone cufflink. And we have a brooch with a missing stone. So that's going to go over there. Oh, this is a ring. If you heard that, that's my foster dog. <laughs> He's uh, vocal today. So it looks like this is a really cool ring. Look at that opal glass. That's so cool. I love this. And that is like a really, really deep, almost like a garnet kind of color. And it is adjustable. No marks on the inside. Um, I'll just make it adjustable to my size a little bit more. There we go. So I love this. This is really cool. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. It's got little pearls. Everything is intact. It's got this cool like texture to the band. Oh, wow, that's really neat. I'm going to say for this ring, we're going to say um, 18 on this ring. This is really cool. I love that opal glass. Super cool. Okay. So next, oh, these are pretty. These are glass. Little glass swirly earrings. They are both screw back and they're uh, clip. So, like, I like these because you can get more security on them and they are marked um oh they are patent pending and they've got patent number oh neat these are gorgeous i like that they're glass they just need to be cleaned a little bit but these are really really beautiful and i love them i love these these are great 
I'm gonna say $8 on these because you don't see the glass earrings very often. Um, it looks like I have a random rhinestone, so we'll see what that cup came from. Um, uh, this is something, I'm not sure. This might be a slide. Not sure, we'll keep that aside. Um, okay, here we have a pair of earrings. Whew. These are really kind of different. Very seed bead, handmade. I don't I think they're handmade. Um, I think maybe this part here goes in the front, I bet. There we go, probably goes like that. And then both of them. Yeah, they probably just both go like that. These are great. This is, I think, a plastic or resin cabochon. And then these are, it's done on leather. That's really neat, probably handmade by somebody. These are cool. Um, very cool. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say $10 on these. I really like those. Those are cool. Um, what else do we have? I'll find something that's not tangled. Here's a really cool pair of earrings. These are gold little, not, these are, okay. Um, these remind me of Monet. Let's see if I'm right. Dun, dun, dun. I am correct. Monet. See, I've been doing this too long, you guys. Monet earrings. These are really pretty. I love these. I probably had them before, and that's probably why I am calling it. Okay, so Monet. I'm going to say $8 on those. Those are great. Monet earrings. Oh, I have a rhinestone necklace. Oh, I have not seen anything like this before. Um, we have, this is gorgeous. So this clasps, it's got a little pearl back here. It clasps like that. I love this. So it's got the pearls up in the front. Um, oh, it does have a little, a little part. This came apart, but that's easy enough to fix. I can fix that. Um, Wow, look at that. It's like a little collar. Let's measure it. This is gorgeous. I'm in love with this. I'm normally like a little eh with the clear rhinestones, but this piece, I'm not. I'm loving this. Um, this is at the longest, it's going to be 17 inches. And we're gonna put this on the neck. Okay, here we go. So look at that. That is absolutely stunning. Wow. Um, all of the stones are present and accounted for. That is absolutely, oops, oh, I get all crazy again. Oh, come on, I just had it. That is stunning here. That is stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to say for this necklace, wow, the detail in this is unbelievable. And I cannot believe, so there is no signature on this at all. Wow. Wow. None. Hmm. Crazy. Um, so I'm going to say for this necklace, I mean, honestly, this is so unique and one of a kind. And um, that repair will be done easily. I'll do that actually probably when we're done here. Um, I'm going to say $40 on this. This is just absolutely like I've never seen anything like this before. So 40 on this necklace. This is unbelievably gorgeous. Unbelievable. 
Um, wow. Okay, that was unexpected and wonderful. Um, okay. This, I think he, or if I remember right, he told me about this ring. So this is, and I might be able to fix this too. This is a ring that goes on here. Now I'm going to have to see if I can fix it. So I'm not going to give you a price on it. But I think this is a ring that goes together on here. So I'm going to set this aside to fix um, over here. Okay. We'll see. We'll see about that one. Oh, here we have another costume ring. This one is absolutely beautiful. Um, this is, let me see here. Yeah, this one is gorgeous. This has a lot of beautiful crystals in here. It almost looks like maybe Aaliyah Sophia or something, but I am not seeing anything. Let me see what size is. Oh, ew, it's a size seven, which means that it'll fit me. Whew. I feel like my fingers are getting puffy. Oh, that's terrible. That is really pretty. I like that. That is pretty. Um, I'm going to say a 10 on this ring. That is really nice. I like that ring. 10 on that ring. Um, oh, here's a cute little Christmas tree, baby Christmas tree brooch. That's super cute. We'll say three on that. Here we have another brooch. Oh, this is cute. Um, ruby red. And here's the back. That all looks good. Is there anything wrong with this? Ah, uh, it is missing two stones. Darn it, it's missing two stones. One right here, one right there. So that will go into my repair. We'll see if I can repair that. Uh, here is another one of those Christmas tree brooches. So we'll say three on that. Oh, here's those. Oh, here's a brooch. Here's an earring that goes with. Oh, let's see if we can find the mates for that. Oh, this is pretty. Okay. Wow, that's super sparkly and nice. Hello, okay, now we're talking. Look at that, beauty. We got AB crystals, we got regular crystals. We got it on a adjustable ring. This is a party for anybody who needs a beautiful cocktail ring. I think we all do. I think we all need a ring like this. Everybody needs a blingy ring. That is my, that's, that's what I think. I think everybody needs a ring like this. This is gorgeous. Okay, so this is a blingy cocktail ring. These are, oh, that's a huge one. That one is glue set. Some of these are prong set, mostly glue set though, but that's okay. This is uh, adjustable, no marks. Very nicely made though, very nicely made. Pretty heavy duty. Um, everything looks like it's well intact though. Ooh, hold on. Oh, you know what? Are there missing stones? Hold on. No, okay, no, there's, oh, there is a missing stone. Darn it, there's a missing stone. I have to replace the stone on this. Do I have, I think I have one. I can replace that stone and I have that stone very easily. So I'm gonna give you guys a price on that because this is gonna be a quick and easy repair. Um, so I'll give you a price on this. This one is going to be, 
Um, this ring will be 15. This is gonna be a quick and easy repair. I have that stone. In fact, I could probably do it within five minutes. Um, this ring will be 15. This is gorgeous. So 15 on that ring. All right, moving on. Okay, we have a necklace. This is probably some kind of quartz. Very old, old clasp on here. So yeah, I bet you this is some kind of quartz. Yep, that's up in the quartz. Um, this is, it is a length of um, 24 inches, just a simple quartz and round bead necklace. Very cute, very nice. Um, and I'm gonna say, uh, we'll say, we'll say 12 on that. $12. And now I got a single earring again. Oh, no, nope, here's the mate. Okay, so clear earrings, um, little, little fringe on the bottom. Those are really pretty. These are pretty. Probably could use a cleaning, but we're going to say $8 on those. Um, got another pair. Oh, here these are. He's marked at all? Not marked. These are not marked, but another pair of really cute, long, blingy earrings. And we'll say eight on these as well. Those are really pretty. I like those. Oh, da -da -da. oh here, these are nice. Okay, so we have these gold earrings with a blue cabochon and they're gold and they're kind of like a teardrop uh these are really pretty with faceted these this is glass this is faceted opaque glass very pretty no marks on this one um i am going to say eight dollars on those very pretty um here is another uh, ring this one a lot of the gold is worn off this you can tell this was gold there's like little spots of it um really pretty though i love this blue it's a really pretty blue there's some um a few rhinestones over on this side let me make sure that they're all intact yep they all are there and let's just test this just to be on the safe side So actually this blue is testing in the topaz area, interestingly enough. Let me see what this is. Oh, there is something on the inside here. So let me just see what we got. Oh, I can't read it. Something electroplate. I can't really read it very well, but that is a topaz, supposedly, um, according to the according to the presidium, it goes right up. Oops, it goes right up into that topaz area. Um, but I, so I'm just gonna say, I mean, I don't know. It's it's a electroplate that wore right off, so it wasn't very strong electroplate. Um, so I'm just gonna say uh, ten on this because I don't, that's obviously like a dyed topaz. It's awfully bright. Um, oh, I love these rings. I don't know if you guys have seen these, these square ones. So they have like a, these little spots, you know, these little CZs or rhinestones or whatever you want to call them up on the top and the bottom. And they're very comfortable to wear because you can, your hands or your fingers will go like that with them. Aren't that, isn't that fun? They're super cute to wear. Um, this, I'm thinking is a size, probably a size seven. Yeah, it's a size seven. And um, this one does, I mean, again, the plate, well, maybe it wasn't. So it's a gold over on this side, copper here, and then silver. So maybe it is supposed to be multicolor. 
Super cute. I'm gonna say um, $8 on that. That's a really cute ring. Um, we have a brooch, big brooch, looks like. That is a bird, some kind of bird. This is interesting. So this is like filled with seed beads, almost like, like it was a mosaic or something. And uh, kind of a funky little bird, unsigned. Definitely reminds me of like something like mid-century modern, 1960s-ish, kind of fun. I'm gonna say $12 on this, kind of fun. All right, next. Um, this is a fur clip. Um, it has these little prongs. These are very dangerous, very sharp. You have to be careful. This is a fur clip that is, uh, you know, a little rough. Can all the all of these are intact? They're all prong set, faceted glass, but um, these are, they all have the gold backing. And sometimes that turns after a while and gives it kind of like this gray look to it. Um, and they were all open back. And so they've gotten scratched over the years because you know, this is extremely old. I bet you this is probably 1940s, maybe even, it could be 1950s, could be earlier. I mean, these fur clips, I mean, they wore them back way back when. Um, and so that's why it kind of has that dingy look, but it is, it's a nice one. And I mean, even though with that dinginess, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say $10 on this because um, of the historical value even. These are interesting little earrings. They're just like little arrows going either which way. Those are the backs. Crystals in them are really nice. Um, I'm gonna say $5 on those. Um, uh, I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like a seal or an otter. And I'm assuming maybe a keychain. We'll say three on that. Um, this is a modern necklace, uh, unsigned, just the silver. It's very pretty. And we're going to say on this one, uh, it's 16 inches long. And um, I'm gonna say uh, $8 on that one. Let's see what else. Ooh, this is cute. Very old. Look at that. Bet you this is like 1930s or something. In pot metal, oh my gosh, I love this. It's a baby brooch, in pot metal, kind of, it's like a moon maybe. Uh, could be a crown, but I think it's a moon. Not sure. Look at that. That's really cool. Wow, I like that. Um, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say eight dollars on this. That's a really cool. That's easily 1930s. Easily. Um, here we have a bird some kind of bird on a very long chain. Um, it could be made very, very long. Um, we're gonna say $3 on that. Boy, a lot of earrings that I don't have matches for right now. Hopefully we'll find them. Um, here's a nice bracelet. I like this. So it has leaves with little blue stones. And, oh, it might help if I turn this light on. Leaves with little blue stones. And this measures, um, it does have a fold over clasp. And it is unsigned. Um, but 
but this is about six and three quarters length. And I'm gonna say $10 on that. That's a really pretty little bracelet. Um, let me see here. Angel, Angel. <clears throat> let me see here. Here's another bracelet. This one is much longer. And let me see here. Okay, so this one definitely needs a little bit of a cleaning. It is kind of like this, uh, I don't know, arrow or V look to it. That's the back of it. And I don't see any marks. And this one is about seven and a half inches long. And I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say $8 on that one. No rhinestones or anything on that. Um, oh, this is cute. Oh, it's a little pineapple. So these are little, um, these are, do they go back? Okay, so these are just the screw backs and I see something on here. These say, oh, they are sterling backs. So they are sterling backs with a mother of pearl little dangle. And that says sterling on the back. Oh, these are adorable. I love these little mother of pearl. And I say that's pineapple. I mean, what do you guys think? Is that pineapple? You guys tell me. Is that pineapple? Um, I'm going to say $10 on those. I love those. And they have a sterling bath. So I think that's kind of awesome. Uh, here is a little fleur-de-lis brooch. And maybe there is something that was supposed to hang from here. I don't know. Um, possibly. So that is the back of it. As is, I'm going to say $3. Um, if, I don't know if something was supposed to hang off of that. Okay, so now I have this long necklace. No, there's no marks or anything. There's no, no tags, nothing on this one at all. But this is kind of cute. Look, at it. it's got these little every few inches or so, it's got these little links and it's one side is abalone and then the other side is this little kind of uh, decorative, I don't know, silver tone link. Um, this, is, this can be very long. So on the shortest length, um, it does have an extender. So on the shortest length, it's going to be about 36 inches, but then it can be longer than that. So very, very pretty little piece here. Getting dusty. Um, okay, I have a gold tone twisted um, bracelet here. And not that I think that Ernest would miss one, but I'm just double checking. Yeah, no. No, it is just a gold tone bracelet. It is about, uh, actually this looks small. Uh, that's about seven inches, I'd say. And um, I'm gonna say three on that. Um, we have a little heart that has, uh, it's just a, I think it's just flowers and then maybe a ribbon. It is two-toned, so there's gold in the center and then silver around the back. It is a tack pin, so we're gonna say three on that. Um, here is a barrette with some um, faux pearl, that is a plastic pearl, and then the gold and a little rhinestone. It is a French type clip barrette. Um, and yeah, it's cute. Um, we're gonna say three dollars on that. Um, all right. 
Oh, here we have a very, do we have two necklaces tangled? We might have two necklaces tangled up here. And come apart. Oh no, it is one long necklace with a locket. Um, I think. Actually, I don't know. I don't know that this opens. I don't know that that opens. It looks like it does, but I don't see where it's hinged at all. So I think it might just be open like that. And these are all little hearts. Very cute. It's on a really long silver tone chain. Um, I don't believe it's real silver, but... Uh, yeah, it's not real silver, but it is very pretty. I'm going to say um, $8 on that. All right. Moving on, we have a gold rope, unmarked. Um, gold rope chain. This is um, 18 inches. Really nice if you want something to hang a necklace off of or if you're just looking for a faux gold rope chain. Um, I would say, uh, we'll just say $3 on that. Um, here is a interesting this is like maybe magnetic. No, I don't know. I'm not sure how to open this. I've seen these before. Oh, here we go. Just opens. It is kind of magnetic. This opens like that. Okay, there we go. And this says um, Agamo. Tur Agamo. I don't know what that means. Maybe that goes in the front. I don't know. It's nice. Um, if anybody knows what that means, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Um, but nice necklace. It's nice and heavy duty. And it is um, It's kind of short. It's about 15 inches. Um, so I'm going to say uh, $8 on this. It's I mean, it's heavy, but we'll say $8 on that. Here we have a nice, very vintage bow. Uh, yeah, this is all intact too. Very vintage bow um, brooch. And uh, this is nice. This is a nice one. I'm going to say eight on that. Uh, silver tone bracelet. This almost looks like it could be a men's bracelet. And... This is about eight inches. So definitely could be a men's bracelet. Silver tone, um, I don't see any markings on it at all. So I'm gonna say uh, $6 on that. I have a, oh this is nice. This is a rhinestone necklace. This just has the three, um, like the three, three uh, stones in the center for a, uh, just for a, like a little bit of a, I guess a decoration or like as a pendant or something. Very simple, nice, delicate piece. And this is nice. This is uh, about 16 inches. So that's a good length. I mean, you can definitely adjust it to be shorter if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to say $8 on this. The stones are a little on the cloudy side. We might be able to clean that up a little bit, um, but it is a little cloudy, but $8 on that. Um, we have some more, uh, some more earrings. Let's see. Oh, darn it. These are my favorites, and it's missing a big stone. Shoot. And I don't know. Looks like I need one of these to fill it in. Well, 
maybe we'll see put those over in repair and let's see if i can repair them here we have some gold half hoops five dollars on those we have some oh those those are definitely going in craft they're half missing um okay here's another another one missing a bunch of stones that's going to go in craft uh here we got another another gold rope chain and that's actually in nicer condition it's actually in really nice condition um yeah nice nice condition this is um about almost 18 about 17 inches actually and um i'm gonna say five dollars on that one um here is a pair of earrings they are those are cute they're orange plastic beads on this kind of gold brassy gold hanging they're cute three dollars on those is this and it's a little kinked it's a bracelet slightly kinked um, but it does have this cute little butterfly on there very cute um go like this it's too bad it's so kinked i'm gonna put this in that's really kinked bad I'm gonna put that in repair. Maybe I can try to fix that, work on that a little bit harder. Um, this is a weird class. I don't, I feel like these are not, like these clasps are not like permanent. I don't know. I mean, I guess these are so like cheaply made. I'm just gonna put that in class, in um, craft. Um, all right, what do we got here? What do we have? Here we have another silver chain. This is a long one. Very open link on that, but not, not like a big link, but it's nice and open. And this is nice and long. Um, could definitely put a cool pendant on here. Um, 30 inches long, that's kind of nice. $3 on that. Um, here's another, this is very lightweight, almost like aluminum weight, very heavy or chain, and there is no clasp on this. Just pop it right over your head. And, uh, this is 30 inches long as well, and we're going to say $2 on that one. Um, boy bunch of earrings that are just no matches. Darn it. Uh, maybe, maybe we do. Here we go. Here's one match. Okay, so he, this is a match here. This is a pretty little gold drop earring. We're going to say five on that. Oh, here's a ring. This is nice. Little little dangle I've never seen it really with this little dangle and you can kind of make this bigger I think I might have to pull it with the mandrel though so at about an eight now although I think with the mandrel you can probably maybe squeeze it tighter or make it bigger yeah so with this the way that it is now that's actually super cute it's got like some movement it's got that little bit of a silver coating on the crystals. I like this. I'm gonna say 12 on this ring. I like that ring. That's really fun. Um, okay, so then we have, is there not another earring like this? Oh, here it is. Okay, this is a nice little set. Is this set all in, oh, the set is all intact. This is pretty, I bet you this is 1930s, 40s, probably 1940s. We have a screw back 
earring in this beautiful like emerald green and look at that screw it these are big too and very almost heavy they're in this almost like coppery color setting man i don't see any marks on this at all gosh this is pretty okay so here is the earrings stunning earrings and then look at this brooch it's very art deco this brooch look at the faceting on that emerald that is really really nice i wonder if this is an unsigned something i don't know though it's very art deco Hmm. Wow. Um, it does have a lock on the clasp though. So I don't think it, it might be like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay. So for this set, for the earrings and the brooch on this set. So I don't, I don't like splitting up sets. I know I've been asked in the past to do that but i don't like splitting up sets it's just something it's like the i'm a just a true vintage kind of person um i don't like splitting up sets so um for this set because this set is just so incredibly unique i definitely think it's very old um i'm gonna say 40 dollars on this set this set is really really nice you guys it is so nice so 40, 40 on that set. That set's really, really nice. Um, hmm. Okay, so there, here's some men's cufflinks. Um, those are interesting. They do have a mark. They have a mark. This is a Regina Sterling. Oh, so these are Sterling cufflinks. Interesting. Um, so these are sterling. They're really interesting. Interesting design. I'm not familiar with Regina. I'm going to say 20 on these. I don't know. I don't know how that is for a price, but we're going to say 20 on those. Um, let's see. Here's a match. Here is a, a pair of silver tone earrings. They definitely need a little cleaning, a little TLC, but these are kind of, kind of nice. Um, it looks almost like there's a mark in there. Nope. My bad. Nope. Wishful thinking. Wishful thinking, but those are kind of cute. Five dollars on those. Um, well, oh, another pair of earrings, another pair of earrings. These are clips, little leaves, betcha Sarah Coventry. Definitely got the Sarah Coventry look. All right, little leaves. Um... can't read it upside down I think so yeah, this one yep Sarah Coventry Sarah Coventry boy um and I'm gonna say uh eight dollars on those boy a bunch of single earrings uh, here is a silver tone bracelet, uh, not sterling, I'm sure. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, definitely not sterling. Um, we're going to say five on this and it is definitely needs to be cleaned up. Um, it is seven inches and single earring a bunch of boy bunch 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 what is this 
We've got a little arrow, little arrow pin. We'll say two on that. Okay, this, oh, and then there's the stuff in these boxes, which I'm not sure. I know one of them's sterling, he asked me about. This, okay, he did show me this. This ring is so freaking cool. Um, I love this. So this is a, it's not marked at all, but I've never seen anything like it. So this ring, you have, this one right now, it has like a greenish, kind of like a really deep, green but you can unscrew this top and the stone can come out okay and then there's this little baggie and it's got three other color stones it's got a clear one a pink one and like a peach one and so if anybody likes this ring you would get the this green one and then the little baggie with the other stones and this would be, I bet you it's a size seven. I'm assuming because it fits me perfectly. Yep, size seven. This is so flipping cool. Um, it is gold tone. It's in perfect condition. You get all of these stones um, with it. And I really think it's like brand new. I don't know. It doesn't have any names on it at all, which is crazy to me. Um, I'm going to say 25 on this ring. Um, 25 on that. Um, let's see. <gasps> okay. So that is the same as that other ring that I do. Yeah. At the same, yeah, that's the same as this. So I just need to see if I can fix that other one. Okay, so here's this ring. Um, so this is copper. It's adjustable. Um, this is in this like bronzy color, this or coppery color, or I guess topazy color. Can't even talk. Make it a little bit bigger. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. Holy moly. That is gorgeous. Now I really need to fix that green one. Um, I'm going to say 20 on this. This is so cool. I'm going to say 20 on this one. This is amazing. This is an amazing, and this almost looks like a flower. There are zero missing stones on this. Zero. I'm just double checking with the loop. Because you all know that sometimes I miss stuff because I am blind as a bat. I am getting new glasses, though. Getting new glasses. I'm just waiting for them to come in. And boy, they are going to be so cute when they arrive. I can guarantee you. Because they're big and they're funky. Um, okay, so this is, yeah, this is sterling. And at least you told me it's sterling and it is, um, oh, it's long and it has these little pearls. Oh, it's all tangled figures and that's why you probably didn't want it. Let's see if it really is sterling. Let me see if there's a marking on it. Yeah, it says 925. Um, let me see, let's test the chain. Jeez, can't even do this. Eh, close enough, I guess. Uh, let's see if it'll react if I got enough. Hmm. 
I'm not seeing a reaction. Let me test the clasp. <laughs> yep. Again. Yep, not sterling. So mark sterling, but not sterling. I feel like I'm getting a lot of those lately. But it's a lot of these ones that look like they're maybe made in like China or something like, and this one is marked It's marked like nine NC nine two five. So I don't know what the NC means, but I don't know. There is a company called nine two five. I don't know if anybody was aware of that. It's a company called nine two five, and they produce silver tone jewelry. But it's called nine two five, and everything that they have is stamped nine two five. But it's not nine two five. So how frustrating is that? Um, I don't think this is the original box for it. Um, but if anybody likes this, it is a pretty necklace. Um, I do need to untangle it slightly. But we're looking at about, at its length now, it's at about 16 inches, but untangled and then it has the extender. It definitely can go to probably at least 18 or so. Um, it does have some really pretty pearls and then little rondelle beads. So I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say $10 on this. This is, I mean, it is still a really pretty necklace. So we will say that. Um, all right, so that is the end of it. So that's my haul that I got from my Detroit guy. I think it was pretty decent. Lots of nice vintage in this. I'm loving the one necklace. Um, that's my favorite piece out of the whole thing. That and this ring. I love this ring um, and I love the set. So what's your favorite piece? Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite piece? And uh, I can't wait to bring you the next haul. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, I have my lives on uh, Thursdays and on Saturdays and Saturdays is the clearance live. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the bell for notifications. And then you won't miss any of my videos or any of my lives, okay? And I hope to see you on one of those. And definitely let me know what you thought. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every one of you guys. And uh, I can't wait to see you next. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.